Hello, thanks for joining me, astrologer Patrick Arundel, for your in-depth horoscope forecast for week commencing the 19th of August for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be grateful if you did so now. This week begins with a shift of emphasis beginning to take shape. Late last week, Mars, the planet of drive, moved into the sign of Virgo. Now this is a bit counterintuitive because Mars is about the individual. It's about our desire to get instant gratification. It's a more masculine energy. Of course, Virgo is the virgin. It is about sacrifice and purity. But Mars in this area can see us able to work harder, sustain our efforts in a much more focused way and look for tangible results. Now Mars is going to be joined on Wednesday by Venus. Now Venus in the sign of Virgo is also quite self-sacrificing. And then they're both joined on Friday by the Sun, which returns to Virgo for the first time in 11 months. Now in the last phase of this week, the three are going to be together. So we have a stellium. And this is going to be fascinating because they're also going to be linking to Uranus in the sign of Taurus. So we have this greater emphasis on the things uh, that require our attention to detail and where we need to be thorough and precise and discriminating, which all comes from that Virgo energy. But there's also a push to be creative, inventive and a bit spontaneous which is coming from the energy from Uranus. Also, as we enter into this week, we still have the backdrop of last week's Venus-infused uh, full moon, which occurred in the sign of Aquarius. So we were already being asked to juggle our priorities and manage our time, especially in a social or romantic context. So I think what this Virgo energy is going to ask us to do is really focus and the interesting thing also is there is a quarter moon on Friday in the sign of Gemini, which could see us tempted because of the Virgo energy to almost be too virtuous and to try to pack in so much at the end of this week um, that we actually end up spreading ourselves too thinly. So really prioritizing on what's really important is going to be really helpful. And the other thing that's happening this week is that Mercury, now it's going forwards in the sign of Leo, is actually forging a superb angle to Jupiter. So Jupiter, of course, is in Sagittarius itself going forwards. So if there is a scheme which requires us to think big, be positive, but apply ourselves in a very precise way, which is supported by this Virgo energy, well, we're certainly getting it all together. But it's important to understand that the stellium between the Sun and Venus also links with Mars, and that's quite a sultry combination. So it may say us orientated in some way with our passions to do something that can be good for someone or good for a relationship, but especially where we can think of another person's needs and be a bit more thoughtful or practical in the way that we help them. Your specific forecast, Virgo, is really exciting. If you tuned in last week, you'll know that Mars has arrived in your sign. That's going to spark up a greater sense of purposefulness and attention to detail, which of course you often have in spades, but because it has been a more introspective period for you of late, I think Mars moving into your sign is going to help you to gather momentum and really energy and desire to focus on the things that are really important to you. And that means achieving some tangible progress. But you know, you're joined by Venus midweek as well. And that's a lovely combination. Venus and Mars uh, together in your sign is going to boost your sex appeal hugely. And also going to temper the drive of Mars with a little bit more decorum, a little bit more diplomacy, but then the sun returns to your sign for the first time in 11 months 
on Friday. And that really is going to fire up the whole process even more. And the three are in a stellium in the last phase of this week. So if there's anything you want to initiate, start or reinvigorate, which is important to you already, you're given a real astral set of tools to make progress. You have the sun giving you the sense of purpose and your identity. Mars giving you the willpower and Venus giving you the people skills. But you know, Venus in your sign is going to draw a lot of attention to you. And it's possible that if you're single, new admiration can be heading in your direction. Don't underestimate. Even though you're a person who has a real sense of purity, don't underestimate the energy and the delightfulness that you're going to be projecting outwards. So it's a great time to manifest what you really want for you, the individual. Be a bit more single-minded. You're often the support person for others but this is a fine time to think more about your own personal and unique needs now it is true that your ruler mercury is still uh, in the sign of leo which is much uh, more reflective it's deeper but it's forging a tremendous angle to jupiter now it's possible that someone's going to give you a discreet vote of confidence somehow reassure you about how you're thinking about something or perhaps you're going to do some research behind the scenes which is going to help support the energy and thrust this collection of energy uh, these planetary energy is going to give you in the inner planets and I, I certainly hope so for you is there a nickel well there is a quarter moon but it is in Gemini so it's another mutable sign like yours I just feel that there could be someone uh, older, perhaps in your family, perhaps a colleague, a boss, who may be a bit doubtful about some of your ideas, but this is a time for you to have absolute confidence in what you want to achieve. If you'd like to know more about personal astrology based on your time, date and place of birth and go beyond your sun sign, why not check out the link beneath this video? You can visit my chart store and if you buy a, a year's forecast and a character analysis, I'll give you a 30% discount. Or you can choose to connect with me personally and have a live one-to-one. -one. But for now, good luck and goodbye.